In the game Golden Sun, we play in the fictional world of Wayard, and within the world of Wayard is the power of alchemy, which manifests itself in the form of synergy. I wanted to make a few videos about this game, but I couldn't think of an excuse to play this game on my YouTube channel until now. Then I thought, what if I tried to beat the game with as little synergy as possible? I will be making a series with 4-6 to six parts on beating Golden Sun and its sequel with as few usages of synergy as possible. I will be transferring my data using the 5.2 page long password system. Yay. Just so we're clear, using synergy is defined as having the visual, audible, and practical effects of a certain synergy. For this reason, using the retreat, not enough PP glitch is not counted as using synergy. There will be story spoilers, so you have been warned. I estimate we'll only need 46 synergy uses for the first game, but let's go ahead and see. We start off the game as a 13 to 14 year old version of Isaac and Garrett on the day in which the main antagonist, Cetros, raids Soul Sanctum and causes a boulder to fall from Mount OF. This 10 minute section, however, does not require you to use synergy. Three years later, Isaac and Garrett and Jenna go up Mount Aleph to see Soul Sanctum for themselves as part of a study on alchemy. This is where our first problems start to crop up. Soul Sanctum serves as essentially a tutorial for how to use synergy to solve puzzles in battle. Battle synergy, however, is not going to be used for the entire duration of Golden Sun, as it is not required. Soul Sanctum specifically requires three uses of synergy. One to place this jewel in the eye hole, one to reveal this pathway that opens up as a result of placing the jewel in the eye hole, and one to move this statue into this hole so you can switch the images of the sun and the moon, revealing the room with the elemental star. After a lengthy cutscene in which Jenna and Kraden are captured by Sechiros, we leave our hometown of Vale to chase after them and prevent alchemy from returning. On the way we meet our first Jin, Flint, will be one of very few Jin we will be able to pick up along our travels. The next place we go to is Vault, a village very close to Vale. There we meet Ivan, a Jupiter adept who is attempting to recover a rod that was stolen from him by these thieves. Ivan has a synergy called Mind Read, which he uses. The key word there is, he uses. Ivan does this of his own accord without any direct influence from the player, so this instance does not add to our counter. However, in order to recover the rod, we need to use move on this crate in the end, which brings the counter up. After defeating the bandits in battle, Ivan leaves and we go our separate ways. Ivan goes to look for his master, Hammond, a rich merchant, only to discover that he was taken to a fortress of thieves known as Lumba. When Ivan can't get into Lumba, he goes and searches for Isaac and Garrett. At this time, Isaac and Garrett are at the entrance to Goma Cave. After using move here, but can't move the stump because of the vine on it. If you use move on the stump, it activates a cutscene where Ivan comes and removes the vine of its own accord so it doesn't count. Then we use move on it, which does count, and use whirlwind to go into the cave. Goma Cave contains these three places in which we use move, and then it's on to Biblin. At this point, we have two choices. Go north to Mercury Lighthouse, or go east to Kalina. The reason I chose to do the less common first Mercury Lighthouse is because to get to Kalima you must pass Biblin Barricade, which requires move each time you go through. So if we went to Kalima first, we'd go through Biblin Barricade, do Trek, go north, and then go through Biblin Barricade again. So going north saves one synergy. Since the monsters north are tougher, I grind it in Biblin for about an hour and a half. Getting to Immol is no problem synergy-wise. Once we get there, we meet Mia, a Mercury Adept, and rush to get into the lighthouse. To get to the interior of Mercury Lighthouse, we need to use move on this pillar, and move here to get Mia. Now this is the first real sequence break in the game that we will be doing. Remember how I using the retreat, not enough PP glitch, is not counted as using synergy? Well that's fine, but to get less than 6 synergy points, we need to use synergy to lower Isaac's PP, right? wrong. You see, there's a Mimic in the Lighthouse, which has an attack called Synergy Drain, and that lowers your, your synergy points. In order to reach the Mimic, you need to use Ply here, which adds a synergy to the counter. Then you go to the Mimic and pray for perfect RNG that would make the Mimic use Synergy Drain, specifically out of all of its attacks, on Isaac, have it work like 20 some times. I didn't have time to grind it out, so I used a cheat code to lower Isaac's max synergy points to 5 temporarily, but it's theoretically possible, even though it's not RTA viable. 
since our synergy is low, we can go up to this room where we got Mia and use the retreat, not enough PP glitch, to end up at the top of the lighthouse and fight Ceteros in the hardest early game battle I've ever had in Golden Sun. We then grab Hermes Water for later and run to Biblin Barricade and go to Kalima. Kalima Forest by now is not a difficult dungeon as Mercury Lighthouse contains much more difficult enemies and puzzles and synergy is not required to beat it. We go next to Fujin Temple where you're supposed to mind read this guy so you can get the Orb of Force, but that's technically not required as the upcoming Lost Woods-like area doesn't contain RNG. So it's possible to just look up what paths to take. Mogul Forest itself doesn't have any required synergy uses, but the battles here are difficult. We can't get the, any chests, and we can't get the Jin because you need to use move for those. After leaving the forest, we pass through Zian, but don't get to do anything there, and then it's on to Flooded Alton. Flooded Alton was not as much of a problem as I thought it would be, but it's still annoying. The first few levels require no synergy, the second to last level requires you to use frost twice, and the last level requires lift twice. But that is it. We now go to Lama Temple, where we learn reveal from Hama and leave HSU trapped under a boulder. Ouch. Next up is the Lamakin Desert, where you normally use reveal to cool yourself off using hidden oasises, but that's not required, so I bought 120 herbs and healed constantly. Reveal was still required three times, one to get to the boss screen, one to reveal the boss, and one to move beyond the boss. Part 1 ends here, in Kele, where our total sits at 21 synergy uses. If you know of any way to lower this total, please leave a comment or email me. No, I have not abandoned the Super Mario Odyssey to player any percent speedrun guides, I'm just trying something new. Thank you so much for watching this video, if you liked it, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications. I'm Jacoby Defense, and I'll see you next time. Bye.